Ron here with Rooted in Love Urban Homestead. We hope you're doing well. Here we are out here on a beautiful spring day. It's a little windy, but it's gorgeous. We have a lot of pots that we want to plant and some new planters that we want to add to our garden. So we need a lot of potting soil. And so we are going to make our own potting soil and we're going to tell you exactly how we're going to do it. Okay, so we are making our own potting soil today for our raised beds. Uh, I'll also use it in my uh, tomato bed and also in my uh, bags of tomatoes. So here's the formula we're using. And it's all in parts, so a part can be whatever. We're going to use two parts of peat moss, three parts compost, one part perlite, one part vermiculite. We're going to add a tablespoon of lime for each gallon of peat moss. And then I'm also going to throw in uh, a handful of worm castings, a handful of chicken manure, and a handful of lime. And what's the other one? I got another one. A handful of bone meal. So that's our recipe. So for parts, you can make a part whatever you want as long as you keep those ratios the same. Uh, I think for our illustration, I'm going to say one gallon is one part. But it can be two gallons equals one part, whatever you want. So let's get busy. Okay, here's our two gallons of peat moss. I'm going to dump that in our wheelbarrow. do three gallons of compost and we're using a mushroom compost an organic mushroom compost Our three three parts of compost. So here's our one part each vermiculite and perlite. And those are for one of them is for water retention and the other one is for water drainage. So they kind of work two different ways. Basic mix. And to this, I'm going to add some other fertilizers. Uh, I'm going to throw in a, a good handful of worm castings, a good handful of chicken manure, a handful of bone meal, and also some garden lime. It says about a tablespoon for each gallon of peat moss. So that will be two handfuls of lime. Lime, we want about two tablespoons. Call that a tablespoon. And here is a nice uh, handful of bone meal. This adds phosphorus. Do that. Good handful of chicken manure. Bailey's supervising. Of course she is. And then a handful of worm castings. There are a lot of different recipes I've looked online and they're just all over the place. So I've just kind of picked a combination of several different recipes and we're going to see how it does. So we've got our mix of ingredients in the wheelbarrow i'm going to mix it up really well and then i'm going to wet it down with some water because you don't want to plant in super dry soil or potting mix so i'm going to mix it up and then get it moist
need to make sure when you're mixing, like Ron's doing, really get into the corners and the edges so that you pull all that together and it's you have a nice mix. So you want to keep watering and keep mixing because you want that soil nice and saturated. So we're going to use it immediately to plant with. We can water it some more once it's in the planter. We just want to make sure it has some water in it before it goes away. I think that's pretty good. Yeah, that looks great. All right, we're ready for our planter. So that's how you make potting mix. It's really simple. It just takes a little effort. And then you have wonderful potting mix at a fraction of the cost for buying pre-made bagged potting mix. We hope this helps you in your gardening journey. May all you do be rooted in love. See ya.